Um, when was, if there ever was, a moment where you thought that, hey, Crazy Rich Asians is more than just a book, it's more than just a movie, this is a movement? I, th I think that occurred to me, when did that occur to me? I think it was that first weekend, all of us were in LA together and suddenly yeah. that first weekend, because... Just the, to see yeah, the amount of support the, yes. and people buying out theaters mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just, yeah. you know, honestly, we just wanted to, like, survive the weekend yeah. and not be the last movie, you know, like, <laughs> Crazy Rich Asians came in 10th place after, yeah. you know, we were all Shark so Attack scared. 4, you yeah. know, like, yeah. We were so scared, yeah. Yeah. we were like, ooh, yeah. But then, you know, we, we, we were seeing, we were hearing from all these people that were buying out theaters and, and families going, like, they wanted to go the opening weekend, and we're like, maybe that's going to help, but we didn't know what would really happen until Monday, you know, when the results came out. Yeah. Um, and then we were And then like, it was like a dam broke. Yeah. Literally, it was like yeah. a dam broke because once it opened up, the energy was mm -hmm. amazing. And wouldn't you say that even in Singapore, they don't quite get the phenomenon that happened here yes. and in, in Australia, in Canada. Absolutely. You know, because Absolutely. I think it was all these overseas Asians yes. in England, in Australia, in yes. Canada that were, just were responding to it so hungrily in a way that they didn't in Singapore. Yeah. Um, because you have an industry there. You have TV and movies with I mean, Asian people all the time. It's not speaking novel. Speaking English. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we have loads of you know, Singaporean movies, yeah. uh, Asian faces speaking English all the time. It was yeah. not unusual. Yeah. We, you know, we don't call it diversity. We call it a way of life. You know. I mean, you know, um, yeah.